All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking real music in real time for a few real people just like you and just like me. All right, before I get going on this video, um, I shared this last year a little bit. Bonham Bullock, that's Deborah Bonham, who is the sister, the actual sister. She was much younger than John Bonham, um, but she can sing and uh, Peter Bullock on guitar. And this is blues oriented music. It's blues rock and it's very old school. I believe these are all traditional blues songs that you may be familiar with. And even if you're not, it's definitely uh, worth listening to. Uh, Deborah, I think, has that uh, DNA, which her brother had. And uh, it's just really good music. Even if you're not a fan of this, just to hear what Deborah Bonham sounds like would be worth it for me. You should check it out. Maybe order yourself a copy. Um, and again, independently produced. I think it's on a record label that I'm not familiar with, so I won't share that information, but you can look it up and find out for yourself. Um, so this was kind of an interesting reunion where three members of Fleetwood Mac got together to honor the late, great Christine McVie. Uh, in attendance for this event, Stevie Nicks, Lindsey Buckingham, and uh, Mick Fleetwood, kind of the brain trust of what's left of Fleetwood Mac. No word if any concert is planned, maybe to pay tribute to Christine McVie. Um, this took place, by the way, at some venue or restaurant or coffee house. I'm not sure what this is it's called the little beach house malibu um christine mcvee's life and legacy brought fleetwood mac together again to celebrate her memory i'm thinking it's not like a funeral parlor or a place where you would uh, have a gathering if it's called little beach house malibu sounds like a very california thing to do or place to go uh and uh, they were there to celebrate uh, the life and career of the famed singer, songwriter, and keyboardist. Again, in attendance, probably for the first time together in a very long time, were Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, along with Mick Fleetwood. Um, the paparazzi took pictures, and everybody looks a little bit downtrodden and a little bit shell-shocked. I mean, this is a pretty big deal. I mean, Christine McVie died unexpectedly. Uh, this was after a short illness. And, okay, so I'm going to be accused again of being insensitive uh, well after the fact, but we still don't know what happened to Christine McVie. We don't know the cause of death. So if Fleetwood Mac, for instance, were to get together to do some kind of a tribute uh, and they could raise funds maybe on behalf of, say, cancer research or heart disease or some other condition that Christine might have suffered from prior to her passing. Uh, they could do that if we knew what it was. I guess they could raise money for the new sudden adult death syndrome phenomenon, which has been happening all over the place. And oh no, my mind doesn't go there first thing. It's believe it or not, it's not the first thing that I think. I want to give everything the benefit of the doubt. She was 79 years old. That's about the life expectancy. I think for women, it used to be 80. For men, I think it was 78. So, okay. So I'm not, you know, freaking out about the age, but I am a little bit curious as to. Uh, the duration of the illness, and it was a short illness. And you hear this a lot, that people have a short illness and then they're done. And uh, the world is a different place, uh, way different than uh, what it was three or four years ago. And it doesn't show any signs of going back to the way it used to be. And it's just disappointing. So again, it's good that all three of these people got together, no word on what happened to John McVie. Uh, my guess is that he probably just didn't want to travel. Uh, this was his former wife, so maybe he's taking this uh, 
in a way that's even even more you know serious than uh the three that showed up i i don't know uh john may not be in good health we don't know what's going on with him um but anyway folks i think christine mcvee deserves some kind of tribute or recognition much like eddie van halen deserves something and maybe the music world will put together something at some point or maybe they won't maybe their estate their family doesn't want this maybe they just want folks to quietly remember her legacy and then just move on which is completely understandable um but it would kind of be good to know what's happening out there to certain people you know not for every single situation but um, it should be okay to ask questions. And I've noticed that people who jump on me for asking the questions, they don't want to ask questions. They don't want to know what's happening uh, because they just think I'm crazy and that I should just uh, deal with the fact that there are a number of people in this world who are dying for no apparent reason or dying unexpectedly uh, or suddenly and we're all just supposed to accept it and move on. I mean, why would they invent a term sudden adult death syndrome? Why would they invent that? That didn't exist before. I knew about sudden, you know, infant death syndrome, SIDS, but not SADS. Okay. Ironically, it spells out SADS. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm just crazy. I, I chalk it up to me being crazy. Okay. That's it. So yeah, I'm a little frustrated about this as I think everybody should be, uh, unless there is zero humanity left in humanity and then you can make sense of it because that's what I think. I mean, I think people are supposed to have a soul and once that soul is missing, then this is what you get. You get people mad at you for being concerned about humanity. It's just very strange. All right, here's what's not strange. Some really good blues music from Deborah Bonham and uh, Peter Bullock on guitar. Uh, great logo, by the way. Really digging that. Um, it's kind of like a little Led Zeppelin-ish in its appearance, which I think is um, very cool. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications and uh, pray for this planet. Pray for the souls of the people on planet Earth, uh, that there is hope maybe for some of these people to wake up to what's happening all around the world. And not just on this issue, but so many other issues that we face as a civilization. And uh, that's it. That's my video.